Uh, up next, I call up Dr. Guy Joseph A. Dear Professor Madhur Singh, Dr. Vijay Tunde, and my fellow new ambassadors, Dr. Leventi and Dr. Kalozos. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it is both an honor and a pleasure to be appointed a goodwill ambassador of such a beautiful organization as Sri Lanka United Nations Friendship Organization. As uh, you've heard by now, my name is Guy J. Hale, and I'm the founder of Lifespan Seminar, based in Los Angeles, California. We are a health and wellness organization, and we conduct workshops worldwide that teach individuals how to optimize their lifespan potential. I'm here with my dear wife, Teresa Mishler, who is the programming director of Lifespan Seminar and who and who today also became a supportive life member of Sanfo. This is our second visit to Sri Lanka and we are beginning to uh, consider the good people that we meet on these visits as part of our extended family. When I was asked to prepare remarks for this occasion, it made me reflect on the impressions we have had so far visiting your beautiful island. So, we have seen a beautiful country with a proud tradition and with people who are kind, diligent, and friendly. But the strongest impression that both Teresa and I got are from Sri Lanka's youth. We have seen many young people who are obviously intelligent, eager, and full of energy. In my humble opinion, the best investment that any country can make in its future is making an investment in its future generation. So I would like this short address to be dedicated to this cause. I would like to call attention to the unique position that each individual occupies in the world as we move into the 21st century. My personal approach has always been prudent optimism. I have an abiding faith in the intelligence and the spirit of humankind. But this is not a blind or unquestioning faith, but it is rather a faith that is based on clear understanding of our role in the universe. Besides, every period in history has its own challenges and opportunities, and our period is no different. So for challenges, on a global level, we are seeing too many regional wars that unnecessarily kill too many people. World population just crossed the 7 billion mark, and that's at a time when 50% of that population lives on $2 a day. On a national level, our own country, the United States, is dealing with a long list of social and economic challenges, while Sri Lanka just emerged from a draining war and is obviously keen to move towards peace and prosperity for its people. On an individual level, I would like to use a personal perspective. As Professor Madhura Singh alluded to, I am now a proud American citizen, but I was born in the former Soviet Republic of Georgia, and have since lived on three continents in four different countries. I have lived in a predominantly Christian society, and a predominantly Muslim society, and a predominantly Jewish society. I know from personal experience that we are a lot more alive than we are different. In our essence, we are all members of the global human family. Now for the opportunities, our work at Lifespan Seminar shows that when we set out to build for ourselves long, healthy and productive lives, it is very helpful 
to gain a view of us in our proper context in the universe. So emerging scientific fields of neurocosmology, neuroplasticity, and epigenetics are presenting a view of humankind as the primary conveyor of consciousness in the cosmos, with far more to discover in the world inside us than in the universe at large. We use these profound findings to teach individuals that they can sense their optimal duration in themselves and also teach them the skills to make this a reality. We explain that the energy and the intelligence and the harmony of the universe exist in each of our bodies. We find that young individuals are the greatest beneficiaries of this awareness because their minds are not burdened with presumptions of what they cannot do. They are like sponges, eager to absorb any new information which would open their horizons and excite their imaginations. Because most of their lives are still ahead of them, they are also in a position to fully capitalize on their God-given gifts. So this individual cosmic consciousness shows that each of us is a capsule of the cosmos with all its infinite possibilities. And this awareness also enables us to access our own limitless potential for our own benefit, for the benefit of our country, and for the benefit of the entire world. Thank you very much.